Okay guys, so here is how my makeup is looking in natural lighting. I'm just behind this um, wall. Again, I am like loving how my face is looking. I feel like everything looks so smooth. Everything looks really good. But I am going to come back and check in a couple of hours. I want to at least give it like five, five, maybe ten hours. I don't know if I want to give it that long. I'm going to give it some time to see how these products are going to wear because it is very hot out here. It's like 90 degrees. So far, everything is looking really good and smooth. The foundation doesn't seem like it's like settling into any lines, but I do feel like stuff always starts to go wrong right in this area. Maybe I need some color corrector. What was that? So I'll be back in a couple of hours to show you guys some results. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So the video that you guys just seen, that was taken about 10 minutes after I finished my makeup, which I did finish it at 1.49. And right now it is 7.18. So I've had this foundation on for a little over five hours. I was like, five hours is good enough to show you guys what this foundation is doing. Pretty much everything held up. Nothing has faded away except the um, lip gloss is... It's just like kind of sticky now. Like my nose area is really, really oily, and around here is oily too. The um, my little space up here <laughs> can't even call it a forehead brow, really is still intact. Brows are still intact, eyes still looking a bomb, although they do look a little red. The highlighter has still held up contour still held up the rest of the foundation still held up this is like out the door <laughs> i don't blot i just add some more powder over it which is what i'm just gonna do now see and that just fixes everything with my color pop no filter concealer you guys know i love this for cleaning up the brow so i always give this a so the Black Radiance Luminous Dry Oil Moisturizer, I love this product. Very, very moisturizing, very hydrating, and it's very luminous. It definitely helped the foundation blend out on my skin really nicely. There was no pulling and tugging, and it just slid, it just like glided over the skin. And it doesn't feel itchy under the foundation. NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. You guys know, like I've been talking about this nonstop. I love Love this foundation perfect shade match um with it being a matte foundation it's not drying at all whatsoever on my skin because of applying most likely because of applying the hydrating primer and the oil i feel like that's was not making it feel like dry it doesn't really feel like i'm wearing makeup it feels like it definitely feels like around here i'm wearing like lashes and stuff because i can feel all this heaviness going on around here this is a good alternative and a good option to the finny finny finty beauty foundation you guys know i love that foundation it takes pictures so flawlessly but it's way too drying like i wonder how would it work now with that oil so for concealer we have the Too faced Born This Way Concealer. It feels hydrating under the eyes, definitely not drying. I feel like where I went wrong at is I applied way too much. With the doe foot applicator, I feel like all I had to do was just do like one swipe on this eye and then one swipe on the other eye. What I did was I like dragged it all the way down here and did all of that and then dipped back in and then went on this eye. I did not need as much as I applied, but now that I know that, I'll definitely start off with a small amount and then work my way up. Definitely don't start out with too much because I feel like it got a little like cakey around in this area especially around in like the crease part all right so for the makeup forever sculpting powder i really like this powder it may not look like i have much on because it is a lighter contour powder it's not really like dark so it's not going to give a harsh contour it was very subtle when applying it which i love because once once you apply too much it just looks muddy and it's you can blend it out but it does take more time and it still kind of looks harsh after blending it out for this elf blush i think this blush is really nice it gives a nice healthy glow the only thing is with blushes i'm really not a big fan of them being shimmery and glowy i think i like my blushes to be matte but still subtle because i like that added color to the skin especially when i um do that I don't know that's like a, I think it's called like an Asian beauty 
thing where you put the where you take the um blush into like this part and then over your nose it kind of gives like that rosacea look <laughs> and it also doesn't show a lot of bring up a lot of texture on the skin as well which is good like the highlighter as you guys can see it's still there after five five hours a little over five hours um i will say that it is a very subtle highlighter it's not like blinding like as soon as it touches the um skin but it is a very nice subtle and buildable highlighter i love like when it's on the skin it looks like like it looks wet it doesn't look powdery like a lot of highlighters can moving on to the setting spray so this one was the black radiance dewy setting spray i don't like the setting spray at all the pump sprays out way too much it sprays it out in like chunks and it's not like a fine mist it's like just too harsh and it also smells like straight up alcohol now for the elf hydrating coconut mist i love this mist now this is what i call a fine mist setting spray that's what it felt like it was like just shh, shh. but i also love the sleek packaging sample size of the Too Faced glitter glue i really really like this glue it's really it feels more like sticky than tacky when the eyeshadow went on the eye it really popped it was very very pigmented no fault well i had a little bit of fallout on my face but when i applied like the lid shade i had like no fallout just in a crease area like i said anytime you're like blending shades just pat it down first then go back and blend and that'll save you now for the jackie Ina and um elf eyeshadow palette this palette was really pigmented the shades blended out so nicely two shimmery shades they probably are pretty pigmented i'll definitely have to like try them out on the lid as far as putting this color in the crease i mean not in the crease on the brow bone and in the inner corner and applying it this shade in the inner corner or the brow bone did it definitely did not show up on my skin tone at all this elf bait trio eyeshadow i didn't get the chance to use this i would have had nowhere to put it anyway but i showed you guys the swatches again you can use it wet or dry so i'm gonna probably use this next time i do a video so as for the black radiance fine line liquid eyeliner this is not a bad liquid eyeliner at all and it's a little bit shorter so it gets even closer to the um lash line which is really good it dried down all the way just have to do a wing and then i'll know for a fact if i really like it or not the japanese sponge that's really dirty i really like using it it's so soft and squishy and it's a really cute blender as for these elf blending and crease brushes i really like using these they feel so soft on the eyes which as you guys know these um these brushes help me create this eye look so i'm happy that i picked these up i just really need to find like that perfect round fluffy brush to really like blend out eyeshadow so now we're going to move on to all six of these lip products so the first one was this elf lip exfoliator coconut and a scent coconut this is just an exfoliator to help exfoliate the lips i really liked using this i definitely felt like my lips were smooth after using this kind of hurt when it kind of tugged on this part because it what the heck get out of here so the other one side was a primer and the other side was a lip plumper i didn't explain this product good in the video but to me the primer side is just good for applying under a lipstick to make it pop on your skin tone if it doesn't pop originally <laughs> and the um plumper side i don't know i feel like plumpers are just like a gimmicky product i don't really feel like it makes your lips big i just feel like it makes your lips tingle and burn <laughs> next thing was the elf lip plumping gloss and champagne glam love this lip gloss it's what i was wearing before it faded away and i put this Alyssa one on and it's like a champagne rosy gold shade it has like i can see like gold shimmers in it i feel like this is going to be great for applying over a lipstick as well but i love this on its own the only thing is with those lip plumping glosses as they burn and tingle the lips i don't like that but it does end up fading away eventually oh my gosh i almost threw up
the elf and Alyssa ashley lip gloss in the shade nude rose i really love this lip gloss it's what i'm wearing now i didn't put a lot on so you're only gonna see a little bit it does have a little bit of a tint to it it's like a exactly what it says like a nude rosy brown type of lips type of lip gloss and it's comfortable on the lips it's not sticky at all i forgot to say that lip plumping gloss it is a little bit sticky but it's definitely thicker in consistency than it is sticky if that made sense for the Alyssa ashley it's a little bit thinner on the lips so as for the it's my ray ray and bh cosmetics lip gloss and lipstick so honestly i don't know how i'm feeling about this lip gloss i feel like it's definitely not your average lip gloss it felt it's, it looked a lot more like a lipstick to me than a lip gloss i don't know what kind of lipstick is it it's not it looks like not a liquid lipstick but a regular lipstick that's just like moisturizing that's what it looked like to me it didn't look like a lip gloss but it was still really pretty as for the um and it wasn't sticky at all either which is really nice it was really comfortable on the lips now as for the liquid lipstick it was also very comfortable on the lips it didn't feel drying it's automatically when they dry down they dry down to like a darker shade i feel like i like the liquid lipstick a little bit better than the lip gloss but when they were paired together it was a really pretty combo so i mean Alright, so I'm actually pretty upset, but I only got one picture with flash photography. I was too busy editing my part one video that I didn't get the chance to take a bunch of different pictures to see how the look was going to come out. But I took like one picture with flash and it was like in front of a door. But here is how the flash photography, the flash photography, the flash picture came out. I don't really like it so that's why I'm not popping it up on the screen I'm just showing you guys right here so here is how the makeup was looking this was like still like 10 minutes after I applied it that's pretty much the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed my little like tutorial part one and then review part two I will have like a birthday haul part three it's with cl the clothes and accessories part but i didn't want to add all of this in one video because that video would have been like two hours long and there's no way i'm putting a two hour video here on youtube i had luck with pretty much everything i liked how everything turned out there was just some things that i'll definitely have to work with still and see is there any change but other than that i really enjoyed creating these videos i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye